How's it going guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Before we get started, I wanted to say congratulations to Matthew Von Wagner for winning the GoPro Hero 5 Black as well as an SD card. I'm gonna shoot you an email, dude. Congratulations on winning. We're going to be doing a ton more giveaways, ladies and gentlemen. All right guys, so as car enthusiasts, nobody's really a huge fan of the Toyota Prius. So I have created the ultimate car guy shirt. Five things I hate about Priuses. And on the back it says, everything, 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 everything. I hope you guys like these shirts. I think they are absolutely hilarious. They are now for sale at lightgravityshop.com. I've got a link in the description below to the Prius shirt, super limited. So make sure you get one before they all sell out. <laughs> Today I am headed over to EAG to see Amir's new Audi R8. He's been wanting to buy his first supercar for a long time and I'm incredibly stoked for him. He bought a brand new Audi R8 V10 in this incredible dark green color at 23 years old. Oh, Amir, it's so sexy. Oh damn, look at that shirt. This is sick, open it up. Let me see the interior. Do you get purple interior? No. no. Oh man. You got diamond stitching. This is sick, dude. Congrats. This is freaking awesome. You wanna hear it? I wanna hear it. Damn. Look at that dash. You even have a cooler dash than me. Can you do the full screen mode with the full tachometer? I'm sure you can somehow. I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> Audi knows what they're doing with wheels. They make better wheels on all the R8s than they ever have on the Lamborghinis. I would take these on the Huracan all day. I'm sorry, but you cannot look at this thing and not think it's a good looking car. I understand with the Huracan, it might be a little too flashy and aggressive for some people, but damn. Diamond stitch leather package, five grand. Carbon fiber exterior package, five grand. You got the awesome wheels. Gas guzzler tax. Dude, you got screwed on the gas guzzler tax. You know what happened was, let me tell you something funny about that. What? I bought the C63 when I was five years ago. Yeah. They sold it to me and I paid for it and they called me and said, hey, we forgot to add the gas because it's like, so I'm like, I ain't paid for that shit. <laughs> so I'm pretty set on the GT3 RS. I'm deciding between either ultraviolet, that purple color, it looks so badass, or lava orange. Or maybe black so I can wrap it, but purple or lava orange would be awesome. We got this guy in a truck. This is live right now, running from the police. <gasps> what? More than a dozen officers now with guns. Done. Done. And he is uh, following, com following commands at this point. What if he just goes, he just tries to run? <laughs> Look how many guns there are. Well, actually, they're not. They're going to cook them right up. Boy, this could not have ended Damn. any better for what this guy was doing. Before we head out to the Mercedes dealer, I want to give a special thanks to War Robots for partnering with me on this video. Essentially, it's an epic tactical 6v6 multiplayer game where you get to blow stuff up. I'll be using this to release my anger over my break. There's a huge variety of robots with different skills depending upon your style of play. The robots are fully customizable. You can change up the weapons and make it look absolutely terrifying. The graphics are great and there is a huge online community since this game has been in installed more than 50 million times. There's constant updates, the game is always evolving, and because you are a Vehicle Virgin subscriber, you get some special bonuses. There's a bonus link in the description that offers GI Patent Robot, Aero War Paint, four Punisher machine guns, 400,000 silver, and 100 gold. If you have no idea what that means, well, it's a lot of stuff. So after this video, check out this ridiculously addicting game. All right, we are taking Amir's R8 to lunch, and then hopefully gonna go check out an E63S at the Mercedes dealership. I don't even know. Oh, nice, we got maps, we got the power and torque. Oh, look at all that torque. Let's take it for a spin. Backup camera graphics, so much better than the Huracan. That's hilarious. You can actually see what's behind you. The visibility in this thing is also significantly better than the Huracan. The front windshield is a little bit taller. The rear window is way bigger. 
So Audi calls this gearbox the S-Tronic transmission, but it's the exact same thing as a seven-speed double-clutch transmission in the Huracan. This car has 540 horsepower because it's the non-plus instead of 602 and the plus. Couldn't afford it. Couldn't afford it? Damn it. There's not too much of a difference between this car and the plus. No, honestly, I drove both. I really didn't find a big difference. Really? Yeah. I think the wing is killer, but well, you can get was, an aftermarket wing, I was still obviously. Gonna get an aftermarket yeah. kit on it. So even if I had the plus, I would still take that off and put a bigger wing. Gotcha. Yeah. Put a bigger wing. Nice. The Vorsteiner one is sick. I think. The Vorsteiner kit right? is super cool. Vorsteiner, we need a wing for my buddy here. Yep, I think I'm gonna drive it stock though for a little bit. Yeah, 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 100. percent right? This really is a much more comfortable, usable, everyday car than a Huracan, and it's still stupid fast. So that's a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10, like and it sounds like a Huracan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fast, and you could supercharge it if you wanted to. I don't know. What I don't think it needs it. One thing I really don't like about my Huracan is it has Alcantara and kind yeah, of the that? wrong places, and it also wears out. It looks relatively like ugly the RSL now. has the Alcantara on the steering wheel. We barely drove that car. Yeah, and it's, it's like, already ruined. It's like Mercedes like is really bad mile, yeah. with that, with the Alcantara yeah, steering yeah. wheel. They did a hell of a job. The diamond stitching, the random carbon fiber bits throughout look really nice. The virtual cockpit screen is absolutely gorgeous. It's easier to read than the Huracan. The backup camera is better. There are some serious advantages to the R8 over the Huracan. Grab some lunch. Now I'm gonna sit shotgun in the R8 and we're gonna head to Mercedes to check out the E63 AMG S. Maybe buy a car. Maybe buy a car. Another one. Who? Sean? Or Sean, yeah. Oh, wow. That's fast. That's really fast. Give me a headache, dude. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh. Would you get an exhaust to make it louder? I don't know. Maybe. What do you think? I, I think it's pretty quiet, but, but it, it kind of suits the car. Oh, my God. Look at all the G-Wagons. This showroom is unbelievable. Check out this AMG GTR right there. I've never seen one in red before. This looks phenomenal. Wow. Dude, it matches the R8. I know this. Oh my God. They have zero G-Wagons for sale here. It's like, seriously, can you up your inventory of G-Wagons a little bit more? I've actually never seen more G-Wagons in my entire life. That was my, one of my, that was my second. Oh wow, yeah, that is really nice. Imagine that and I have the already. Wow. This will make second one. Sean, what color do you want? White? The black one? That that's rad, dude. Wow. This is about to be my first time sitting in the new E63 AMG S. It's absolutely filthy. So I got Magno Gray. I'm going with the matte gray color. It's gonna look absolutely epic. <laughs> Oh. We've also finally got an entirely new key. It's got the Alfalterbach AMG logo on the back, but different shape than the key they've used since 2002 on the Mercedes S-Class. I dig it. All right, guys, this is my first time behind the wheel of my new car. I mean, not exactly this one, but the E63. One thing Mercedes has suffered from in the past is the responsiveness on the gearbox with this nine-speed auto and these paddles. I'm pretty blown away by how fast it shifts. So far, super stoked on the interior. It looks just like it did uh, in the pictures, but in person, it's a little more exciting. I haven't seen one yet with the options that I got. I got full carbon fiber. I got the sport bucket seats, carbon fiber on the exterior, both front and rear, as well as the engine bay. I'm not, I kind of regret the engine bay decision. That was a little stupid. The only option I didn't get on the car is the carbon ceramics, which after having to replace one of the rotors uh, on my Huracan, I'm pretty glad I didn't get the carbon ceramics. Dude, it feels different. Feels different than what? Than any other EMG. <laughs> he stepped on the gas 5% and he already says it's different. You think this car is fast? I don't know, 602 horsepower, man, probably. Sounds absolutely insane. Oh my god. Wow. The heat of all the excitement. I messed up the specs a little bit. I wasn't even expecting to drive the E63S today, so that was very, very cool. But it's a four liter twin turbocharged V8. They're putting that four liter twin turbo in almost all their cars nowadays. 
603 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 claimed in 3.3 seconds because it's all-wheel drive, but I think it's gonna be a lot faster than that. That's Mercedes claim, so you imagine with Motor Trend, Car and Driver, and me test it, it's gonna be a little bit quicker. Back in my place, another fantastic day. Congrats again, Amir, for the brilliant Audi R8. Driving that E63 AMG S was fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.